Hello class, here's the next part of the test two review. The question is gonna give you a bunch of what looks like polynomials, and you have to say whether it's a monomial, binomial, trinomial, other polynomial, or not a polynomial at all. So this first one, we have one, two, three, four terms, so it's gonna be an other polynomial. This one has x in the denominator, so it's not a polynomial by definition. This has only one term, so it's a monomial. This has two terms, 8x to the 4 plus 7, so it's a binomial. And the last one is a trinomial because it has three terms. The next type of question is going to ask you to just, it's going to say simplify. And what you can do is just combine like terms. So let's say that we have negative 10x plus 6x plus 11x. All you're going to do is add the coefficients. So when we do this, we're going to have negative 10 plus 6 is negative 4 plus 7 is, or plus 11 is 7x. Next, we're going to add two polynomials. Let's say we have x squared minus x minus 8 plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 1. So to add polynomials, we'll just pretend that the um, parentheses aren't there. And we'll just say x squared plus 3x squared is 4x squared. x squared plus 5x, or x minus x plus 5x is plus 4x. And then minus 8 plus 1 is minus 7. Next, we're given that it's going to be a word problem, and it's going to be that a painter drops a brush from a platform of 155 feet high. The polynomial negative 16 t squared plus 155 gives the height of the brush after t seconds. What is the height? after t equals two seconds. All we have to do is put two in for t. So we're gonna have negative 16, two squared plus 155. Two squared is four, so negative 16 times four plus 155. Four times negative 16 is negative 64 plus 155, and that equals 91. So that'll be, um, it'll be at 91 feet after two seconds. The next, you're gonna have something like six raised to the three. That's just six times six times six, which equals 216. And then you'll have something like negative 3 raised to the 3. Remember that, that now the negative is part of the answer or part of the question. So negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. We have negative times negative is positive times negative is negative. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Then you'll have where we're um, using the product rule. So x squared times x to the 9 equals x to the 2 plus 9 or x to the 11. Then we're going to have the power rule. Let's say we have x to the 12 all raised to the 3. So we just now we multiply our exponents. x. 12 times 3 is 36. Then we have some binomials to multiply. 
let's say it's x minus 10 times x plus 6. First, it's going to be x times x is x squared. Outer, x times 6 is plus 6x. Inner, negative 10 times x is minus 10x. Last, negative 10 times 6 is minus 60. Combine the like terms, which are the middle ones x squared minus 4x minus 60. The next type is going to be the same thing. 6x minus 10 times 2x minus 2. So first is going to be 12x squared. Outer is going to be minus 12x inner minus 20x and last is plus 20. Then we combine like terms 12x squared minus 32x plus 20. Next, we're going to have um, where we square binomial, x plus 2 squared. You can do this as FOIL or just do the shortcut. I'm going to do the shortcut. So the first one squared is x squared plus 2 times 2 is 4 times x is 4x and 2 squared is 4. Next, we're going to have a simplification of a large expression, or fairly large expression. So let's say it's x to the 35, y to the 78, or x to the 10, y to the 25. So since um, everything on top is bigger than the bottom ones, we're going to subtract everything. X to the 35 minus 10 is x to the 25. y to the 78 minus 25 is y to the 53. Then we're going to divide a polynomial by a monomial. So let's say it's negative 25 x to the 11 plus 15 x to the 10 plus 5 x to the 9 over 5x to the 9. Break this up into three uh, equ uh, questions to make it easy. Negative 25x to the 11 over 5x to the 9 plus 5x, 15x to the 10 over 5x to the 9 plus 5x to the 9 over 5x to the 9. Negative 25 divided by 5 is negative 5. x to the 11 divided by x to the 9 is x to the 11 minus 9, or x squared, plus 15 divided by 5 is 3. x to the 10 minus 9 is just x, and 5x to the 9 divided by 5x to the 9 is plus 1. Then we're going to find the greatest common factor of 6xy to the 3 and 10x squared y squared. So just looking at the numbers, the biggest number that will go into both 6 and 10 is 2. Then the smallest exponent for the x's is just x. Smallest exponent with the y's is y squared. Next, we're going to factor the greatest common factor from a binomial. So we're going to have x, y to the 3 plus 13, y to the 3. We can factor out the y to the 3. And on this one, we're left with x. And here, we have plus 13. Next. We're going to have 
something like x squared y plus 9y plus 3x squared plus 27. We have four terms, so we know we're going to factor by grouping, but it does actually say to factor it that way. So on the first one, two, we can factor out a y, and we're left with x squared plus 9. On the second two, we can factor out a plus 3, and we're left with x squared plus 9. We have the exact same thing in the parentheses, so we can factor that out x squared plus 9, we're left with y plus 3. Next, we're going to factor a trinomial. x squared plus 12, x plus 35. So we have to find two numbers that multiply to each other and to get 35 and add up to each other to get 12. So our choices are 135, 2 won't go in, 3 won't, 4 won't, 5 will go 7 times, 6 won't, and now we've caught up with ourselves. So the only two that add up to 12 are 5 and 7. So we're going to have x plus 5 and x plus 7. Then we're going to have x squared plus 2x minus 35. So again, our only choices are 1 and 35 and 5 times 7. So this time, we see that we're going to subtract because of this minus sign. And the larger number is the positive one because of this. So we're going to put plus minus. The ones that subtract to get to a 2 are 7 and 5. And then we have uh, the exact same one. Actually, that would be it for it, the test. Um, we may have some more that we factor. Um, let's say that we have x squared plus 8x minus, or er, 8 squared plus 8x minus, or er, plus, let's say, um, 16. So we need to have um, numbers that multiply to get 16 and add to 8. Our choices are 1 and 16, 2 and 8, and 4 and 4. 4 and 4 will add up to 8. So x plus 4 and x plus 4. This is also the um, perfect square trinomial. So if we took the square root of x squared we would get x, take the square root of 16, we'd get 4. 2 times 4 times x is 8x. So we know that this, what this is, we could have also written x plus 4, the whole thing squared. So do everything on these three videos, and you should do really well on the test.